Hey guys, Steve here again with another uh, Go tutorial. Um, so today we're going to be looking at uh, pointers in Go and how you how you use them, how they work, uh, and what you can do with them. Um, <clears throat> so again, on screen, simple program prints out four, 42 to the console. Um, let's just run that, make sure it run, works. Go run main.go. See the number 42 printed out. Okay. So first of all, what is a pointer? Um, a pointer is okay. So, so say you create a variable with a value. Okay, that needs to um, store that value somewhere in memory, and where it stores that value in memory, that memory space has an address. And what a pointer does is it points at that address for that memory space where that value is stored. Okay, so let's look at how we can create a pointer. So if you remember back to my variables video, you can declare variables like this. So if I have a variable i, which is an integer, that's fine. Okay, I've, I've just declared i, it has no value. Um, but what if I one of the ways I can declare pointers is by doing the same thing. So we have a pointer p, which I want to point at an integer value. So instead of doing just int, I need to type star int. Okay, so star int means I'm creating a pointer called p, and at some point in the future, that pointer is going to point at some memory address for some other variable. So I could point it at um, i. So that's one way you can declare them. Um, so let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of our print line here at the moment. <clears throat> um, so another way we can declare them here. So if I declare i first and I give it a value of 42. So I can make then p uh, is going to be equal to and for me to make this point at the memory address for the variable i, I need to use this syntax, so ampersand i. So that converts the variable i to a pointer, pretty, pretty, pretty much, and we're storing that pointer then in a p pointer. So then what, what I can do then with this, with this pointer is I can read the underlying value that's in i using this pointer p. So let's just let's just look it out that that are working. So if I do a format print line, and let's just say we're going to use the syntax to get at the underlying value for a pointer is we type asterisk p. So I'm just going to print some text there, and then I'm going to actually, you know call the pointer for its for its on underlying value. So this is going to this is going to read the under or the value of i through the pointer p. So we're going to call the pointer um, it's going to get the memory address for where that value is stored is going to go to that address, pick out the value from the address and then return it. So let's look at that working. So if I do go run main dot go you can see when I call star p, I get the number 42, which is the value stored in i. Now, at the same time, I can I can change the underlying value um, through the pointer as well. So, if I say, uh, so to get at the underlying value again, we, we need to use the asterisk p, and we can say equals, 21. Okay, so half the value that, that was there before. Okay, so now if I do a print line and I actually, you know, print the value that's in the i variable here, we should be able to see that, you know, sending this value to the address that p is pointing at and storing that value there, it, it, it basically updates the variable i with the, 
with the with the new value that we've just passed in. So let's just say that and run it again. And we can see now so we've we've set i with a value of 42. We've made p point at i's memory address and then we've actually pulled back the value stored in i through the pointer here using asterisk p. Then we have set the value of i through the pointer again using the asterisk notation again to get at the underlying value and then we've printed out the value that's stored in i currently here um, which we just updated through the pointer. Um, so that's it for now. Um, pretty simple and straight, straightforward. Um, one thing, one thing to remember with pointers in Go that um, unlike uh, C++ or C, um, you're not able to perform any arithmetic using using a pointer. So if I say you know uh, y um, y equals i plus p, if I save that, it's gonna it's gonna tell me that there's an, an error because the types are, are mismatching. So you see there, uh, obviously i is an integer, but p is just a pointer to an, an integer. It's not an actual in, in, in integer. If I wanted to um, perform some arithmetic here, I could use i plus the underlying value that p points to. And that's, that's complaining that y is not used. So if I actually take a print line again, and we print out y, and there. So yeah, so if we take you know i plus the underlying value of whatever p is pointing to, which incidentally is i as well, which at this time is tw 21, so 21 plus 21, we're back to 42. Um, let's just run that and see what happens. And there you go. So that's it for pointers for now. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you.